Hey guys, it's season three, episode one. We're back. I'm Eric. I'm Nathan. And we are Notes and Nerds. guys season three episode one we're back just like we said and hey first off I want to start off by saying we're sorry we wanted to go to Kansas City's Planet Comic Con uh, event but unfortunately a lot of stuff came unforeseen up. things we just aren't able to do it but we will have a lot of really good stuff coming this year so make sure you keep your eye open and oh by the way good to see you again I'm glad to be back how about you doing good how, how are you guys how are you guys doing all right all six of you <laughs> so Today's episode, we're talking about Spider-Man. All about Spider-Man, how he's coming back into the Marvel Cinematic Universe with a cooperative effort between Sony and Marvel. Okay. So we're really excited. So let's get started talking yep. about a lot of the stuff. Starting off with the fact that in this, it's going to be that Sony will still own the copyright, the licensing and everything for uh, uh, Spider-Man, mm -hmm. but is going to be a cooperative use where no money is going to exchange between both companies for the use of Spider-Man. Whoever the actor is in the Sony universe is going to be the actor in the Marvel Disney universe. Back and forth, same thing. You'll see cameos of Spider-Man in future movies, supposedly rumored into a big role in a coming movie, and we're going to discuss that later. Um, and the same for Marvel characters in Sony yeah. uh, Spider-Man film, because there's a lot of crossing, a lot of meshing of characters in the Spider-Man Marvel universe, or just the Marvel universe and in general. And you need that. Yes. A lot of stories get broken because of the loss of certain characters not involved, like the Captain America Civil War storyline that's coming up. So... Well, some parts in Avengers too, but... Yeah. But here's the big thing. Um, Andrew Garfield as the actor is out, and Mark Webb, the director, is also out. Um, they are wanting a younger actor to play Peter Parker, and it sounds like, according to some of the announcements made by Marvel and Sony, when they're talking about the Spider-Man character in his alter ego, it's going to be Peter Parker. Now, this is still kind of speculative, but it's kind of like speculating that you're breathing oxygen outside. Yeah. Because when they mentioned Peter Parker, they meant Peter Parker. Because there's the Latino version or the black version of Spider-Man, and you know, you know the kid is not Peter Parker. It's a completely different character. Yeah. So they would have said that name if that was the case. Yep. Or they could have been completely vague and just said Spider-Man. So all right, uh, the spinoffs, the Sinister Six, from what I found out, is still a go. Oh, that yeah. has people really excited because that's going to introduce all the villains. Um, I don't mind seeing an origin story for the villains in general, but Spider-Man Do it getting, right. Yeah, and Spider-Man himself is not getting an origin story. Everybody knows his story. We don't care anymore. We just want to see Spider-Man. I was going to say, it's kind of like Batman. You can only say it too many times where you just be like, okay, here he is. We're done. And you can't really change, you can't really change the origin story because that kind of ruins everything and people get ticked off. Yeah. Look what happened to uh, Deadpool. Everybody hated that. Yeah. A lot of people didn't even realize that it was Deadpool until later in the movie. When it, it said in the credits, hey, Deadpool. I didn't even put two and two together, Wade Wilson. Duh. All right. So, uh, like, um, let's see here. Uh, the characters are going to be introduced without an origin story, like I just said. Uh, the impact of the story, now here's where the big rumor is, because yeah. Marvel and Sony said that he is going to make an appearance in an upcoming Marvel Universe movie from Marvel Disney. Everybody's pointing to Captain America Civil War. Spoiler alert! <laughs> now in this comics, Captain America was on, the, in Civil War, basically it's a, a, a hero registration. Yeah. If you're a superhero, you have to basically say, hello, I'm a superhero, sign the paper, and now you are basically part of America's world police. Yeah. Captain America, Mr. Captain America himself, totally against the idea of uh, hero registration. So he's on this side of the fence. Whereas of all people, Tony Stark in the comics was all for big government control, which I thought was kind of weird. But 
It happened. Yeah. Spider-Man is the one character that's on the fence. Yep. He understands why he, we need uh, hero registration, because, you know, no longer vigilantes, now you're part of the government, yep. essentially. You're free to do what you need to do, but the problem is, why he's on the fence, the government will call you in to do things that you yep. might not want to do. do. Yep. Spider-Man has a, has a history in the comics with S.H.I.E.L.D. And yep. S.H.I.E.L.D., we all know how S.H.I.E.L.D. is. And those who are not familiar with the comics that are familiar with the movies and the TV series, yeah, you yep. get the idea. So, um, next up is the... Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's see here. Uh, how he's going to impact the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Kind of hit this already. Big. A lot of crossing, yeah. a lot of mishmashing of storylines. Now, one he is going to be that one character that makes it able to mishmash all the other characters. Yeah. He's like that first building block that S we need. Spider-Man is kind of like Marvel's version of Superman in yeah. a lot of ways, where he was their big breakout character. Yeah. I mean, Marvel had a lot of characters, but Spider-Man was the one who really caught the imagination of fans. He was the one a lot of people really got behind. And Superman was, you know, the same concept. Yep. And you could throw Batman in that kind of mix, too, where these are characters that, you know, when you think of that particular company, that's what you think about. Most definitely. Um, so in this scenario, Spider-Man has a lot of crossover uh, stuff with Keep a lot of the characters. The only one we're not going to see is, like, uh, uh, X-Men. Because there was a stint where he was part of the X-Men for a little while. But he was a bigger part of Avengers. Yeah. So, he's going to have a big impact story-wise. I mean, we're going to see a lot of coming back together. Yeah. Um, like it should. Now, another impact outside of the stories and the events of the movies, we're talking about the movies themselves yeah. now. Uh, Thor Ragnarok is now being pushed back because in June, July 28th of 2017, Spider-Man movie. There's, uh, we're not sure what the title is. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be Spider-Man. It's not going to be Amazing Spider-Man. It's going to be something else, mm -hmm. uh, maybe Spectacular Spider-Man. Could be. So, um, or uh, Spider-Man Unlimited, possibly, but I doubt it. Um, they're That'd probably going to. Cool. That would be cool, but there would be a problem where we'd have to have multiple timelines yeah. in one movie, and that's not going to be easy. Yeah. So here's the thing. Thor Ragnarok is now being pushed to November 3rd of 2017. Black Panther is now being pushed to July 6th of 2018. <laughs> Captain Marvel is going to be November 2nd, 2018. And The Inhumans, July 12th of 2019. Problems. Yeah. Thor, not so much of a problem. But it does, it does make a possible issue with some of the storylines. Black Panther, Captain Marvel. The reason why a lot of people are upset about this is because black superhero female superhero getting pushed because of this character. Um, Marvel's trying to save Spider-Man. And Sony isn't, and, and by saving it, oh sure, Sony could just pump out some more characters, but Marvel needs Spider-Man as much as Sony needs Spider-Man. And Marvel doesn't want another Fantastic Four. And I'm not, talking, I'm not talking about the last two movies or the one coming out. I'm talking about the one that you have to find on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. The 1994 version? Yes. Horrible. It was only made so this way Fox could keep the license. The rights and stuff, yeah. So anyway, yeah, it boils down that... We see why they're doing it, but we are we want these other big characters like Black Panther and Captain Marvel because, you know, and we as the fans, you know, we want to see the world, you know, branch out and not just focus on a few little yeah. things here. We want to see the overall picture here. Yeah, but, but the big problem is, is that, you know... People are upset that the first major black superhero besides Spawn, and Spawn really doesn't count because he was costumed and burnt uh, to a char, so you couldn't tell if he was white, black, Mexican, Chinese, whatever. Yeah. Uh, black Panther is a major black superhero character, yeah. and it upsets a lot of people because he's getting pushed to the side for another white character. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, it was, it's a saving Spider-Man issue right now. It's not about racy, races and all that. And, you know, because again, Captain Marvel, she's a white, blonde female, but the problem is, is that we're pushing her back because of another guy. People are going to make a spin on this to, you know, yeah. help push some kind of agenda. People, it's just because Marvel is saving one of their characters. Big deal. They don't want such a big character. Flopping. Crashing and burning. Yeah, but you got to look at the other small little pictures too. Mar Spider Man's is an integral part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and he needs to be saved. Yep. Last piece. Um, 
Marvel, uh, Marvel's Kevin Feige is set to produce the next uh, installment of the Spider-Man franchise with Amy, Amy Pascal. Um, now, Kevin Feige is one of the big wigs, big, 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 big wigs in the Marvel company. And that's how big they are trying to save the Spider-Man franchise by bringing in yeah. one of their top tier corporate guys in to produce, basically say, when basically when the director goes, dude, I think we should like really try this with Spider-Man. And Kevin Feige would be like, no, bad, ah. no. Says here, Spider-Man does that. He doesn't shoot webs out of his ass. He doesn't jerk off and boom, there he's got a spider web up. No, he goes boom, spider web. I liked how you know Sam Raimi did the whole gland in the arm thing, where a lot of people were a little upset. Oh, but that was a beginning. But that worked really well. It was a really cool idea. It Other worked. than the cartridges. Yeah, and the cartridges, and then and it the made the Spider-Man character even more spider-ish. Almost, he was basically Spider-Man's a mutant. And so it kind of worked in the first, it, it, it kind of, it just worked in the first three films. And then the cartridge and the new ones. It, more visual, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was appeasing. But there's a lot of things that people want to try to do different with these characters because they, th like Fantastic Four coming out, they want to take I out got this idea to be really cool. It might look cool for if they wasn't Fantastic Four. Yeah. But anyway, we digress on that one. We'll talk about Polish that. Polish a turd, it's still a turd! So, anyway, the, yeah, Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal really want to push the Spider-Man franchise. They're going to produce the next one that's coming out. They, so this way it gives... They're trying to basically put all their eggs Save in a basket. Save Spidey! They're putting their eggs in a basket and they're covering it with pillows and, you know, bubble wrap. And, yeah. you know, putting pit bulls all around it with electric barbed wire to we, protect we the see franchise. Why. We they see want why. to make it happen. They want it to succeed because, you know... They don't have to produce the movies, and they get a free character. Yeah, maybe sort of. Even though it's serious, like we said. So, the collaboration is really important here. Um, it is kind of an interesting. It needs to happen. As a pessimist. Well, it has to happen. As a pessimist, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm yeah. waiting for something to happen. Where, what if Spider-Man in the Marvel movies is a huge success, but, but no. Sony flops? What's going to happen there? That's going to cause a lot of tension. Or vice versa. Yep. But I don't see it happening vice versa. Because Marvel is looking at it smartly. They don't need Spider-Man. They can make it work. It's their franchise. They know how to make but, things But happen. I think they're trying to play towards the fans. Yeah, they're... Oh, definitely. I mean, look at I last mean, year when they announced the Phase 2, 3 uh, stuff. They didn't do it in front of a bunch of... Don't think it's about this, suits. because I really don't think it's about that, because oh, they can find another word. Well, oh, no. It's always, always about this, well, but the I mean, problem is the difference. Always... The difference is they didn't do this to the corporate monkey suits. They did it to the fans. They went like, well, we want to make a lot of money by doing this. What do you guys think? Would you like that? Great, because we're gonna do it now. We gotta do this now. Oh, you don't like? Okay, screw that. We're not doing it because okay, you don't like okay, it. That's okay. what Marvel's doing. doing. It, well, yeah, they're doing it for the money, but they're not doing it for the money that you think it was doing. They're not doing it for the suits to make profit. Yes, they're making they it do. to make movies for their fans. That's what I meant to say. Because they're making money. Marvel has. So yet you want to see Spider-Man? Give my, give me lots of money. Here we go. Pff, there you go. So yeah, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop here. Is Sony going to be the ones who have a fit, or is Marvel going to basically just cut it off because Sony wants to be a dick? Make it work. Sony, Marvel, get in bed together. Make sweet Smoke love. Smoke a cigarette. Make sweet love. All right, guys. That was a lot of content for this episode. It's <laughs> so quick. I, we have a lot of information on our website at notesandnerds.com. Um, also, if you look, always go there and check it out, we we do all kinds of stuff. We do reviews. We do the stuff for the movies. I mean, we do all kinds of stuff. You guys got to check that stuff out. There's some good material on there. We also love to get some feedback about our episodes. Uh, season one, we're kind of going back to the, our roots of season yeah. one. How we were sitting here talking about episode uh, stuff that really means a lot. Geeky wise and nerdy wise. Last season we tried an experiment with a lot of list stuff, and we saw what happened. The views few, dropped. Yeah, well, a few challenges, but actually the challenges were quad. The were, food challenges were, were popular. You guys really liked those, and you know what? You we didn't like them, but yeah, we didn't like them, but you might see a few this year. We got a couple ideas, and we really want to roll with them. So we'll see. So, we are here to entertain you. So, guys. 
we want you to remember you can follow us on social media uh, right here below uh, all three of the big ones uh, we also have our shop yep uh, where you can uh, shop notes and nerds .com. that's right shop notes and nerds .com, where you can buy all kinds of cool stuff yeah and, and if you want to really support us but you don't want to buy a bunch of crap you know anything even if it's just a dollar patreon it, page yeah it doesn't just one dollar will help yes uh, because we have a lot of plans. Because uh, give us so we can give to you. Exactly, guys. Because keep in mind, this isn't our only show. We have coming out this year, Music Hour with Nathan Smith, and, and we still have my son and I. We do retro gaming nerds. So Make sure to check that out. It's a really good show. You can find it on Facebook. So, guys, keep in mind. Like I said, all this is happening. Find these Help links. Us. Look to them. Read the material. Enjoy the videos. I mean, give us feedback. You, yeah, if you got certain ones you like, I mean, if you just like the challenges, then watch the challenges. There's going to be much more. If you like, you know, the Spider Man stuff, then we've got a few Spider Man episodes, and same with Ninja Turtles and stuff. So watch it, love it, like it. So, guys, with that, like, subscribe, share, and something else. Yeah, something else. Totally. <laughs> All right, but guys. as we always say, Kumbaya, my little